But can you tell me what happened later? Um, I returned back to school and then uh, eventually kind of life began to stabilise a little bit and my mental health began to improve and I suppose I threw myself into studying really. I suppose that was a, a big escape. Um, and uh, thankfully um, I had enough intellect to be able to hide in books and studying and so I uh, left Sixth Form College uh, at a time when <laughs> um, in terms of choices I could have made that choice to go off to university but instead I decided that I wanted to do something uh, useful. I think I was quite um, motivated in terms of social action and in terms of justice and all those other things that quite often in your teenage years are, are very powerful for you and I think my own experience had, had made me realise just how important um, having people around were because when I look back the social worker that was involved in my life at the time when I was pregnant and uh, was going through the process of giving up my son for adoption she, uh, as a role model and as somebody that was a very influential person in my life I looked at that person and thought I would like to do that. So I applied to become a social worker and ultimately was the youngest qualified social worker in Britain, which is a bizarre statistic. Um, and so I set off on that kind of career really and then I, I got married. Uh, my husband and I have two birth daughters and uh, so life was, was sort of moving along and um, Again, found myself kind of in the middle of doing lots and lots of court reports, lots of work with foster carers, moving children on to adoption, um, which was quite a powerfully emotional experience, um, being on the other side of that whole kind of triangle, really. Um, and then I kind of came to a conclusion one day that um, rather than just chronicling the lives of lots of children, that potentially I could be involved in changing the lives of a few and so my husband and I decided that we would uh, become foster carers uh, and then adopters. So uh, now we have um, seven um, children who we have raised, uh, eight including my son. Um, and that for us has been kind of life transforming in itself really because we've been able, I've been able personally to uh, be an adopter to take care of other women, other women's children, to love them, to give them a home, to receive them, um, to uh, do for them what somebody else did for my son and for me. That was a uh, hugely, hugely important thing, hugely important part of, of, uh, of my life and our life together as a family.